VeriSurf Automate enables inspection plan programming and execution using devices ranging from manual PCMMs to fully automatic fixed CMMs. Inspection automation is enabled through the CMM Programming and Inspection Suite, which includes VeriSurf's CAD, Measure, and Automate modules. In this example, we'll write a simple inspection plan for the VeriSurf demo part and then run it using simulation mode. You can experience this workflow yourself using the free VeriSurf Learning Edition, available on the VeriSurf website. First, we'll use the Open button, navigate to VeriSurf Example Files Learning Edition, and then choose the file VLE Demo Part. After the model loads, we'll choose the Automate tab and create a new plan. Since we're not hooked up to an actual CMM, we need to configure the hardware. We'll open VeriSurf Preferences, Automate Settings, and change the default probe radius to 0 0.0591 and the shaft radius to 30 thousandths. Next, we need to add to the plan the features that we want to measure. We'll choose Add Features from CAD and then select the holes in the pattern by hovering the cursor next to the circle and clicking. We'll do the same for the large ID circle and the boss. We'll finish the selection by clicking the surface of the sphere and the wall of the cone. When we press Enter, VeriSurf adds the features to the plan. Now that we've identified what to measure, we need to define how to measure it. The eight holes in the pattern will be measured the same way, so we'll highlight all of them and choose Generate Path. We'll configure the settings to measure four points on the inside of each hole, and we'll set the depth to a tenth of an inch into the hole. On the CMM Settings tab, we'll change the approach distance to 50 thousandths, which also sets the retract distance. We'll repeat the process for hole 9, but we'll add a clearance point to avoid a collision with the boss. VeriSurf uses the default settings from the hole pattern for the remaining parameters. For circle 10, we'll use the same settings, but we'll disable inside. When we create the path for the sphere, we'll reduce the coverage to 90% to avoid measuring too close to the rim. On the CMM settings tab, we'll set the clearance to WCS top because spheres don't have feature vectors. For the cones path, we'll start by increasing points to 8. We'll then change distance between rows to a quarter inch. Let's add a final command to measure profile on the front surface of the part. We'll use the Add Analysis button to add the command to the plan. We'll then open the Generate Path dialog, choose Reselect Surface, and pick the front surface. Next, we'll change the projection to UV number, and then set U to 8 and V to 2. We'll accept the default CMM settings to complete the path. When we clear the highlight from Analysis 1, we can see the entire path. Finally, we'll verify the path. First, we'll enable the simulation display. Then we'll change the device to Renishaw PH10M. To run the simulation, we press the play button and adjust the speed as desired. The plan is now ready to run on a CMM after aligning the device to the part. VeriSurf Automate's use of intelligent feature recognition and graphical object-oriented programming makes it easy to create and execute inspection plans for any type of CMM. Let's close the simulator, click New, and discard our changes.